Can we catch obesity the way we catch a common cold? Let's ask Dr. Lou Aroni, an obesity expert at New York Presbyterian Hospital Weill Cornell Medical Center. Dr. Aroni, good morning. Hi, Julie. Can we? What's this all about? Well, what this research shows is that a common cold virus can make people gain weight. This is a virus that people can get, and it's been shown to cause fat cells to reproduce. And it looks like what it does is it makes fat cells sort of suck fat into them, and that could make you gain more weight. What are the symptoms other than being heavy? Well, like, how do I know if I have this virus? It, there are blood tests that you could do to test if you have it. And people who have this seem to have a very low cholesterol level. And that is typical when someone has a lot of extra fat cells. We've actually seen patients who have a story that would be typical of having an infection and then they gain weight sort of out of nowhere. Uh, I don't want people to be worried that they could actually catch it. We think that this is very, very uncommon. If anything, it may make you gain a little bit of weight. It's not that you're gonna gain a tremendous amount of weight, but I think it shows that there's a lot of science to body weight regulation and obesity. So, okay, let's say I have it. I know I have it, I took the blood test. How do you treat it? Well, we treat it the exact same way we treat all problems with weight, uh, through diet, exercise, there are some medical treatments, and surgery. So this does not change treatment at all. That's the problem. If I have this virus, how long does it stay in my system? Well, it's been shown that it's active for about three months. So we think that for a period of three months, you might be gaining weight. But we really, it's still premature to determine how we would best treat this problem. Okay, let's say I have this virus and, you know, just treating it is simply, I have to diet and exercise. Is that the bottom line? I mean, it's, it's not like I have this virus, I can't do anything about it, so I might as well sit on the couch and eat donuts. Well, if, if you do that, that would be the worst thing to do because that would make you gain even more weight. So if we were able to diagnose it, and we don't routinely do that, although there are blood tests, we don't routinely diagnose it, the thing to do would be to try to remain weight stable while you have it because otherwise the weight gain would be permanent. And then and in the final seconds, I know you say it's hard to catch this virus, but how do you catch it and who catches it? Well, it's a cold virus like any other, and so it looks like it could be transmitted. It's never really been shown how it's transmitted, but about a third of very overweight people have it, about 10% of thin people have it. Can we come up with a vaccine for it and prevent obesity? Potentially, but it's not everyone who's obese. That's not the case. Some people have it, not everybody. A lot of questions still out, out there. Mm -hmm. Dr. Lou Aroni. Thanks a lot, Jim. Thank you.